the chairman of Christian Association of Nigeria, Kaduna Chapter, and a security expert have frowned on the delay in rescuing of the 39 kidnapped forestry students in Kaduna State while condemning the rate of kidnapping and other insecurity issues within the state. Jacinta Obuku has more. It's been weeks now since some bandits evaded the Federal College of Forestry Mechanization Mando in a Gabi local government area and kidnapped the 39 students who are yet to be released. Despite a cry for help video by the abductees, nothing appears to have been done by the security agencies and government. Those of us that have been uh, on this issue in the last five, six years, we are never surprised because uh, since it has become a trend for them to be able to boost their finances and get more and so that they can be more sophisticated. Uh, it is not a surprising thing that Kaduna is involved in the issue of kidnapping. The Christian Association of Nigeria in Kaduna is not silent on the matter as they demand more expeditious action from the government. But as a Christian leader, one of the reasons why we are still having or we are having kidnapping in Kaduna is we really not take our security measures properly. I think we are thinking rhetorics are security measures instead of action. This is the reality we are facing. The 39 students are still in the hands of the bandit. The eight members of RCCG are still with the bandit. The fact is that yesterday, Reverend Father Anthony uh, Dewa, his uh, cook, the wife of the cat keys of, of his church and her son, were kidnapped. They are still with the bandits. And if you hear the among the bandits are asking that people should pay, how, how would they even have the freedom to be demanding such kind of money from us? According to the expert, their continued abduction is demoralizing and disappointing. I don't think it's funny at all. I think the government needs to step up and be able to use technology uh, to be able to locate that, uh, the location in the forest and bring those students out. Beyond prayers, what other steps are the Christian body doing to secure their release? Well, you know, Khan is not uh, an enforcer. We cannot arrest anybody. Our own is to cry, to bring to attention what is happening. We want to appeal this medium to appeal to our governor. Be a governor of action, not a governor of rhetoric, please. The parents of the kidnapped student have accused the government of being insensitive to their pains. Meanwhile, Kaduna state government has ruled out negotiating with bandits and criminals alike. The question, however, remains, when will these captives be reunited with their families? Jacinta Ubuku for Plus TV Africa. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.